Here is a very interesting mutation, scaleless snake. The scaleless snake mutation is exactly what it sounds like. It happens when a snake hatches from its egg and it just does not have any scales. That's pretty much it. Now, this is a mutation, meaning that it is genetic. We don't exactly know the cause or what gene is mutated because there's multiple genes that are responsible for developing snake scales, but we do know that it is genetic, at least in most observed cases, because it can be passed on from parent to offspring. Now, this is reportedly a recessive gene, just because one parent has no scales does not necessarily mean that the offspring will. However, if both parents do not have scales, then the eggs will hatch into baby snakes that also do not have scales, because that's how genetics work. Now, this has been observed in multiple species of snakes, not just one. The most common ones observed are corn snakes, and most of those are in captivity, but it has been observed in wild snakes too, including corn snakes in the wild, as well as garter snakes, rattlesnakes, Burmese pythons, death adders, hognose snakes, quite a large variety. Now, this is not a lethal gene. It does not cause death to the individuals with this mutation like some other mutations do. However, it is what I would at least consider a deleterious mutation, meaning that it is not great for the animal survival. Fully grown individuals have been observed surviving and thriving in the wild, however, since scales are a main form of protection for the snake, it does make them much more vulnerable to injury and therefore infection. There are some hypotheses as well that it may contribute to faster water loss and dehydration, however, none of those have been confirmed. The main issue is that the snake itself is more delicate and vulnerable to injury and infection. Now, this isn't as big of a problem in captive snakes where they are less at risk from their environment. However, there are quite a lot of ethics within snake community, snake like breeders and collectors about the ethics of intentionally breeding scaleless snakes. So far, there's no reported decrease in quality of life of captive scaleless snakes as opposed to regular scaled snakes. However, there still is the issue of them being more delicate, more prone to injury, so there is quite a lot of ethics and discussion within there, like, is it okay to intentionally breed scaleless snakes?